chapter 1, lesson 2 is evaluating algebraic expressions. So in the last lesson, we learned how to write the algebraic expressions of a given statement. In this lesson, we will need to be able to still write the expressions, but at the same time, be able to evaluate them. So meaning they'll give you a value of, let's say, x, and then you have to plug into the variable x. Okay, so we have to remember that if the answers are in fraction, all fractions in its final form must be simplified. Okay, so let's begin with the exercises from page 16. Okay, starting with problem 1b, it says find the value of each expression when q is 20. So that means wherever you see a q, we will replace with 20. So the final answer I'll put here, but I'll put the workings down below. So that means 4 plus 2 times 20 over 11. So what we'll do is instead of putting an x, we'll put it in parentheses. So which means this is... 40 plus 4 is 44 over 11, making our final answer 4. Okay, similarly, it says 11q over 4 plus 25. So we have to remember our order of operations. Okay, so that was taught in grade 5. So this is 11 times 20 divided by 4 plus 25. Okay, so if we were to do this mentally, the idea is to just either multiply that and then divide, or we can do 20 divided by 4, which is 5, uh, which is 5 times 11, which is 55. So 55 plus 25 is 80. Now, but if we're using the calculator, then the calculator will just simplify. So we just type up. 11 times 20 and then divide by 4. Okay, so which means you have to sometimes be careful. It's best to write down as you see. So which means it's best to write this as a fraction. So 11, like how I have it here, and then plus 25. Okay, so which means in 1D, it says John is X years old now. Give an expression in terms of x for each of the following and find the value when x is 18. So starting with the letter A, oh, sorry, this is letter C. So I'll change that right now. Okay, so letter A says the age of his brother who is 5 years older. So if his brother is 5 years older, that will be plus 5 to his age. So, which means if he is 18, that means this must be 23. Okay, so if you wish to, you can go 18 plus 5 equals 23. But if you can do it mentally, then you should be able to. These are not large numbers. So, at this level, you should be able to do things mentally. Okay, so in letter C, it says the age of his cousin who is half his age. So that means this will be one half x. So, or one half times x. You see, if I put one half and then times and then x, that's very confusing. So that's why it's best to just write it as one half of x. Okay, so again, if you can do mentally, which you should because x is 18, half of 18 is 9. But if you wish to write it down, then that means that's one half times 18 is 9. So again, one of the things that we have to remember is we need to keep in mind the order of operations. We also need to be able to check by using our calculator if what our answers are correct. But don't solve 
using the calculator because you're only allowed to use a calculator when the problem has a calculator figure. Here, there's none. That concludes lesson two of chapter one. See you in the next lesson.